Good morning. I'm Speed is here. <laughs> okay, beautiful day. It has rained a little bit at night. So the tent is a little bit... There's some drops on it, but the trees, I think, helped a bit to protect. I'm not sure how much it has rained out there on the field. Uh, temperatures were fine. I was completely all right. Uh, had a good night of sleep. So I'm going to pack my tent now. Backpack is already over there, the big thing. Happy to be carried again by me. <laughs> now I have to carry two gas canisters. That sucks. I'm not going to leave it here, obviously. I have to take your rubbish. Leave no footprint. So my idea is to leave it at one of the next campsites or honesty boxes or whatever. Just a place that is safe where someone can pick it up and then decide what to do with it. I am speed. Let's go. Ah, not let's go. Just let I'm speed. <laughs> All the people who stayed in Dryman starting now at 9 9.30 with some bigger groups coming through with very light luggage so you can tell they have kind of a luggage transport from accommodation to accommodation and then enjoy the hike with a day pack very nice one day I want to do that too but at the moment as long as I'm still strong enough I try to do this monster hike <laughs> Ooh, look at that one other hike in the distance and all yellow beautiful wow All right, already half an hour in. I really couldn't find a slot to to film because there are so many people this morning. It must be the time where everyone walks. It's like, I don't know, I'm, I think I will have a longer break and let them all pass. Anyway, I'm already climbed like around 100 meters of altitude. So I took off jacket, it was very warm. Next place will be in around 10 kilometers by Maha that's already at the lake before I have to climb or go over Konik Hill that's 350 meters high so means today will be a 200 meter altitude or 200 meter climb <laughs> and then final destination today will be total hiking time 20 kilometers Zalochi campsite it's a campsite, yeah, but the thing is that at the lake there's a, you're not allowed to do wild camping. It means you have to stay, uh, there's a certain zone along the lake where you're not allowed to wild camp, so you have to stay in some one of the campsites. And the one I picked is a rather wild one, so there are now showers, there are simple toilets, and the place I booked is right at the lake, and it's kind of isolated so it means you don't see the other people so it, it sounds really nice so let's hope that it is as nice than it sounds yeah so it will be 20 kilometers total time before I have to climb Conic Hill so hard day the big backpack you now has some rubbish from yesterday and of course and the second gas gas cartridge so I, I feel the extra weight. It's really heavy today. All right, let's go. I'm speed.
right just past the junction where you can decide if you want to go to Balmaha via, via the Conic Hill, 200 meters altitude. Well, Conic Hill is 350 something, but you have to climb 200. Or you can go left there and go around the hill and go directly to the next village to the lake, to Balmaha. Of course, <laughs> I haven't seen anyone turning left, so everyone goes right. <sighs> I'm, it seems I have the biggest backpack. There were quite some people having a break there because the, the junction and the sign was just one hour away from, from Dryman, so it's a good time for a break. I had a little, little music bar. Now I feel energized again, but I got out my sticks. Yeah. So far I haven't used them yet, but now I think I will need the support of the sticks to push me uphill and relax my legs a little bit. Well, relax them, help them a little bit in order to continue to be speed. <laughs> All right, there it is in all its glory, Conic Hill. Path goes a bit this direction, then makes a left bend and then I think goes up, up, up. My sweat band on, ready to sweat. Steady. Trying to breathe normal. Not so bad. Of course, everyone overtakes me in the slowest, but I don't care. Try to enjoy myself. Whew. Look at that business. Going up, you can see the lake there in the distance. I'm sure we can see it much better from the summit. <laughs> There was Conic Hill. Super busy today. Uh, I just realized that it's a Scottish public holiday. Uh, I don't know which one. I have to check it up, or maybe I just I will put down there in the video because I don't remember the name of the holiday. Well, families are out. Going on walks, going on hikes, same than everyone else would do. So completely fine. Yeah, Conic Hill is cool. Nice view of the lakes, of the lake, of the lake system, I don't know, the landscape. <laughs> going down now, seems half of the downhill path is completely renewed. New rocks here, as you can see. Which now is a bit 
nicer to walk than all, all the gravel up there. I'm not sure how these rocks behave when it rains, if they get really slippery or not. The moment it's dry, it's no, no problem. We even have some sunshine today. Yay! Whew. It was a nice little lunch break or break, afternoon break. It's 4 p.m. now. Uh, the Oak Tree Inn in Balmaha with a nice uh, kachia or something, chips. Uh, and a beer. Needed one today. <laughs> ah, Conic Hill was hard with this big backpack. Yeah, today I feel it. Feel shoulders. I'm pain, back is in pain, leg muscles, so it's the second day, yeah. I think tomorrow will be better, or tomorrow I have a uh, hike up to Ben Lomond. Ben Lomond? Sorry if I pronounce all these things wrong. So I'm going to leave my big backpack in the tent and go with a small day pack up to that mountain. So it's very good to relax the muscles a little bit and then day after tomorrow I'm sure everything will be fine again. No blisters, it was false alarm yesterday evening. If I press my feet, the bottom of the feet, of course if I press very hard I feel it, yeah they're sore, but there are no blisters. So all good. It started raining a little bit. It's been drizzling all along since one hour, but now that I'm out of the forest and they were exposed, so I put my back pack cover on. Of course, still half an hour and half an hour of drizzled rain is also making everything wet, so better be smart. Ah, beautiful view of the lake. Not anymore. <laughs>
seems we have arrived at the Salari campsite. Now I just have to find my spot, which is number six. There was nine. Now I think eight and seven are coming, and then that's mine. Whew, exciting. So I have to get to the next village and there is the official start of the actual Bern Lomond hike. Just two minutes in, what a beautiful start! Look at that tree, wow! There it is, the summit! Yay! Very rocky here, this last little bit. I feel like in Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Ringish. Game of Thronish.